Hello, welcome to the top five. We started this journey with 30 teams. We cut it down to 25, then 20, then 15, then 10. And then cut it down to nine. And then, well, we haven't really done an NBA game since, so I haven't got a chance to cut it down to eight. So we're going to cut it all the way down to five right now. Tomorrow, I will cut it down to three. And next Wednesday, September 30th, the night of game one of the NBA Finals, I will announce where I am headed in my free agency. All right. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to the first team. So, the teams that are left in this Josh Berman NBA fandom sweepstakes. We have, let me pull it up, let me pull up the list, make sure I don't forget anyone. Hold on. There it is, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, we actually have eight teams left, eight teams. Okay, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder, New Orleans Pelicans, Toronto Raptors. Oh, no, we do have nine, I'm sorry, I didn't see the ninth team. Let me try it again, sorry. Denver Nuggets, Phoenix Suns, Toronto Raptors, Milwaukee Bucks, New Orleans Pelicans, Washington Wizards, Oklahoma City Thunder, Los Angeles Clippers, and Dallas Mavericks. I'm pretty sure that's all nine. I went out of order. All right, here we go. Let's unveil the first of the top five. There is only one Eastern Conference team in the top five, and that is the team we're going to announce right now. Is it the Wizards? Is it the Raptors? Is it the Bucks? I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you that it is not the Bucks. Is it the Wizards or the Raptors? This is a team that I've kind of always rooted for. And I've always really liked what they've done. So for me, this was a pretty easy choice as a top five team. Toronto Raptors. As I just said, this is a team I've always hyped up. This team I've always enjoyed. Their style of play is great. And I think that it'd be it's a really fun team to root for. And plus, who doesn't like Canada? <laughs> I mean, there's that. So the Toronto Raptors are my first of my top five. All right. Now for the other four teams, all of which Western Conference. First up. This is a team, this is the only uh, current NBA player's jersey who I uh, own. I own their jersey because, well, I really like him. I've always liked the team. So for me, this was another easy choice for me. Next up, the Dallas Mavericks. I like Luka, obviously. I have his jersey. Um, I really like what they do over there in Dallas. I think they have a great future, meaning I don't think I would suffer very much as a fan of their team, which is obviously an added bonus and something that I believe is the case with all five of these teams. Um, and... I think that, no doubt, I mean, first of all, um, they have a great culture there. Mark Cuban's a fun owner. I mean, he doesn't love Mark Cuban. So, Dallas Mavericks. All right. Next up. By the way, I want to make this clear. I have actually not decided who I'm going to. I haven't even set my top three yet, so this really is in no particular order because, again, I got no clue who I'm choosing. This next team is probably the uh, one of the – two biggest front runners, I would say, throughout this process. Actually, I would say all three of these are probably the three biggest front runners throughout the process. It doesn't necessarily matter where I'm going, but I would say these are the three teams that I would say that people would expect me to consider heavily. And this is a team that I spent the entire bubble, obviously the regular season bubble, hyping up, watching them, really. I mean, for throughout the regular season of the bubble, I couldn't consider myself not a full-blown, but like kind of a little bit of a fan of their team for that little part. And it was a fun experience watching them go. And I've always... Um, I mean, my 2K19, my player um, played on his team. Uh, played, I'm sorry, my 2K20, my player played on this team. So there is that. Uh, and you add on to the fact that it's just a team that I really like, and I love Devin Booker, Phoenix Suns. The desert. The only thing, though, is that this is a team that, I mean – 
they don't have a lot of success to their name. And it would be a little bit of a risk ahead there because I'm banking on them being good next year. And I genuinely believe they will be, whether I go to them or not, I genuinely believe they will be good next year. But if I go to them and I'm wrong, then that's going to be a, that's going to be tough for me. But obviously I, you guys know I'm loyal to my Ravens. Obviously I haven't, uh, I'm lucky. I've not had many, uh, I've had a year other than 2015 um, where the Ravens were not at least okay. Um, and obviously it will eventually happen when the Ravens are not good. and not going to go anywhere there. And in the NBA, I plan on doing the same. I'm going to be loyal, but it is an added thing. So keep that in mind. All right. Next up is another team that has not had too much success. And yeah, I mean, they did well, don't get me wrong. Um, but this is a team that despite the fact that they've done well this year and they did good last year and they look like they're on the up and up, they have that curse. Have that Western Conference Finals curse to their name, the LA Clippers. I've always liked them. Um, obviously, I'm a big Kawhi uh, Paul George fan. Um, I'm friends with Noah Eagle, or well, kind of friends, I guess you could say. I talk to him on Instagram often, so think about what you want. Um, so maybe I could get some stuff, inside information on the team. That's definitely not a thing, um, but. Yeah, I mean, this definitely could be where I could be headed, L.A. Um, this is a definitely a desirable place. This is definitely um, one that I'm very strongly considering, as I'm obviously considering all of these. But this is definitely one that I'm pretty strongly considering going to. But I can't tell you it's the front runner because I really can't tell you who is the front runner right now. So, And the final team is another team that I really spent... Um, a lot of time rooting for throughout the bubble um, up until their elimination. But, and, you know, I, I, I mean, I've always liked them. Um, even if I never liked uh, one of their, I mean, even if I never liked their best player um, for a long time, he's not on that team anymore. And, but the player that I really like, and one of the reasons why it's very desirable um, is this team is a guy that I don't even know if he'll be back on the team next year. So that's, again, a tough decision. And then next Wednesday, I'll make my decision, and I will have no idea if he'll be back next year or not on that team. I'm talking about Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. So, again, this is kind of, this is a team that I think is on the up and up. I think they're a fun team to root for. I've always personally liked the Thunder. Um, even if they were – even if I never had, like, a favorite team, they've always been a team that I've always liked. So that's another team. So there you go. Those are your – uh, top five, we have the Raptors, the Mavericks, the Suns, the Clippers, and the Thunder. I'm going to one of those five teams. Next Wednesday, we will be announcing my allegiance. Tomorrow, I will eliminate two more teams from consideration. Raptors, Mavericks, Suns, Clippers, or Thunder? Who 